My dad um, has always worked oil field construction, so I was always kind of around uh, the industry and got talking with him. My original plan was to go into welding inspection, actually. So we both decided it'd be smart to, you know, learn how to weld first, learn everything about welding to get into inspection. Um, so yeah, got a job at the fab shop down the road and I didn't know for sure what trade I wanted to do, but tried out welding and loved it immediately. And yeah, 14 years old and never looked back. <laughs> My name is Jen Phillips. I am a Red Seal welder from Edmonton, Alberta, and I moved out to Carrawber, Saskatchewan two years ago, and this is where my shop is now. And stand misty eyed with a father's pride. So kiss me once and a kiss me twice. Kiss me three times, say goodnight, my dear. So, yeah, being a woman in a male dominated trade obviously comes with its challenges. Um, when I, like when you're 14 years old, you walk into an oil field fabrication shop, you get, you get some looks for sure. I think for a lot of years, I was the only girl in the shop. I think most of my career has just, a lot of it has just been proving to people. And even now with my art, like my biggest goal is just to prove to everyone, you know, that I can be successful. And I think that comes, you know, from where I started and just always having to prove myself you know, to the men in the industry, so. The transition from kind of oil field construction to art, uh, I mean, when I had my first kid, so when I had Ellie, um, obviously tough to hold down a job outside, out of town um, and being a new mom and so, yeah, I had Ellie and then she must have been about eight months old and I was just itching to get, get back to work, but at the same time, you know, I didn't want to miss out on milestones and raising Ellie, so I decided I would start welding stuff at home in my garage. So I got a little MIG welder, actually, same welder I use today. And I just started welding everything, anything to make some money. And so it kind of just spiraled from there. Basically just took a chance on a project. I had no idea what I was doing, but uh, tried it out, figured out I might be all right at that. And, Kind of just took off from there. They rode way through the mountains, a curse, and called the ones you pass. Most of my art pieces are wildlife, nature themed, and that would be largely in part to my background as a hunter, fisher, outdoors person. So it's kind of just what I'm familiar with, and it's a lot easier to build things that you are familiar with just in regard to shape and, you know, a big thing for me is to make my sculptures as realistic and lifelike as possible. So just knowing like those behavioral characteristics of the animals really helps me when I'm building these pieces. So when I say like my goal, cause I think for me, that is a huge part, not why I'm doing it, but definitely comes with it is just show young girls that this is possible and even to prove to young girls that you can have a family life you can have kids and have a welding job at the same time because i think you know there's this idea that you can't do both that you know you're either gonna be a welder you're working out here and you can't have a family so i got pregnant i thought this is it my career's over and then you know decided i didn't want that and like welding is a big part of me and I wanted to keep that. So that's where this has all come from anyway, so. So yeah, being a full-time welder and a mom on top of that definitely comes with its challenges. Um, there's a lot of sacrifice involved because getting up, going out to the shop at six, seven a.m. And uh, I'm just really lucky to have the support system that I do and have my parents and husband you know, there to help so I am able to conquer this thing. In some scenarios, you're missing out time with kids to be welding, but I think um, the older they get, they are going to appreciate, you know, the success that comes with that hard work 
And for me to be able to promote that and teach that to them, teach that lesson, I think is super important to me. I do my best to hold up strong In the floral fire I made I knew just what you'd say